I've just been meeting with Hugh Aranka Davis, a Minister for Children and Social Services in Wales. We've been discussing the Equality and Human Rights Commission's report today on the impact of poverty in Wales. The United Kingdom government's policies are driving people and children into poverty. We are seeing the poverty created on an industrial scale by a Tory UK government that simply doesn't care about our people and doesn't care about the future of our children. In Wales we are seeking to mitigate the impact of a Tory government. We are seeking to stop Tory cuts at the Severn Bridge. We are seeking to ensure that we invest in people, we invest in our young people, we invest in our children's education. What we are doing is putting more money into schools where we have the most deprivation and where we see the most children from deprived backgrounds. What we're seeking to do is giving children the best possible start in life. We're investing in flying start centres across the whole of Blaine Eye Gwent. And what we're seeking to do is to ensure that everything we do from education to health to social services is, uh, is there in order to support the most vulnerable in our society. We've seen the poorest households lose the most. We've seen the impact of austerity in Blaine Eye Gwent hit harder than anywhere else. We know that the poorest always lose out with a Tory government and we also know that it is a Labour Party and a Welsh Labour government that stands up for the most vulnerable people. We will not sell Wales short and we will continue to ensure that everything we do here in, in Cardiff, in Wales, is to support the most vulnerable and the poorest in our community. And that is why as a Labour government, as a Welsh Labour government, we always do our best to stand with the poorest and the most vulnerable and why we will always defend the poorest and the most vulnerable from the impact of a Tory-led austerity.